Could all oppressed people be allowed refuge in America? Amber will take the con position. Cher will be pro. Cher, two minutes. So, okay. Like right now, for example, the Hadians need to come to America. But some people are all, what about the strain on our resources? But it's like, when I had this garden party for my father's birthday, right? I said RSVP because it was a sit-down dinner. But people came that, like, did not RSVP. So I was, like, totally bugging. I had to haul ass to the kitchen, redistribute the food, squish in extra place settings. But by the end of the day, it was like, the more, the merrier. And so, if the government could just get to the kitchen, rearrange some things, we could certainly party with the Hadians. And in conclusion, may I please remind you that it does not say RSVP on the Statue of Liberty. Thank you very much. Uh, Amber, uh, reply? Mr. Hall, how can I answer that? The topic is Haiti, and she's talking about some little party. Hello, it was his 50th birthday. Whatever. If she doesn't do the assignment, I can't do mine. Please? So, does anyone have any further thoughts on Cher's oration? Elton, comments? Yeah, I can't find my cranberry CD. I gotta go to the quad before somebody snags it. I'm afraid I can't permit that. Any further insights? I had an insight, Mr. Hall. I'm all ears. Okay. Like, the way I feel about the Rolling Stones is the way my kids are gonna feel about Nine Inch Nails. So I really shouldn't torment my mom anymore, huh? Yes. Well, it's a little uh, off the subject of uh, Haiti, but uh, tolerance is always a good lesson. Thank you. Even when it comes out of nowhere. And with that in mind, I'm going to distribute your report cards. Now, is there a Christian Stovitz in this class? Mr. Hall, the buzz on Christian is that his parents have joint custody, so he'll be spending one semester in Chicago and one semester here. I think it is a travesty on the part of the legal profession. Thank you for that perspective, Cher. <laughs> now, could all conversations please come to a halt? And could the suicide attempts please be postponed till the next period? Suddenly, a dark cloud settled over first period. I got a C in debate? D? Sup? Did you get your report card? Yeah, I'm toast. How'd you do? I totally choked. My father is gonna go ballistic on me. <sighs> Mr. Hall was way harsh. He gave me a C minus. Well, he gave me a C, which drags down my entire average. Bye. I'll call you, OK? Yeah. I told my PE teacher an evil male had broken my heart. So she raised my C to a B. I mean, miserable. They're horrible. I don't feel bad. Eat. Don't feel I bad. I know. Sleep. And you I see, they're all like this. Yes. Then I promised Miss Geis I'd start a letter writing campaign to my congressman about violations of the Clean Air Act. Order. But Mr. Hall was totally rigid. He said my debates were unresearched, unstructured, and unconvincing. As if. Harudazm, Banafshan, here. 16 tardies to work off. Second and today. <laughs> <laughs> Janet Hong, no tardies. Travis Birkenstock, 38 tardies. By far the most tardies in the class. Congratulations. <laughs> So unexpected. I, uh, I didn't even have a speech prepared. Uh, but I would like to say this. Tardiness is not something you can do all on your own. Many, many people contributed to my tardiness. Uh, I'd like to thank my parents for never giving me a ride to school. The L.A. City bus driver for taking a chance on an unknown kid. And uh, last but not least, the wonderful crew at McDonald's for spending hours making those Egg McMuffins, without which I might never be tardy. Well, if Mr. Birkenstock has no political messages to include in his speech, I'll go on. Cher Horowitz, two tardies. I object. Do you recall the dates of these alleged tardies? One was last Monday. <laughs> Mr. Hall, I was surfing the Crimson Wave. I had to haul ass to the ladies. I assume you're referring to women's troubles, and so I'll let that one slide. Thank you, Mr. Hall.
Jay, what's this all about? My report card. The same semester? Uh-huh. What'd you do, turn in some extra credit reports? No. Did you take the midterms over? Uh-uh. You mean to tell me that you argued your way from a C plus to an A minus? Totally based on my powers of persuasion. You proud? Honey, I couldn't be happier than if they were based on real grades. <laughs> Ms. Stoger, that machine is just a lawsuit waiting to happen. Thanks for the legal advice. Dion, you're up. Oh, no, Ms. Stoger, I have a note from my tennis instructor, and he would prefer it if I didn't expose myself to any training that might derail his teachings. Fine. Amber? Ms. Stoger, my plastic surgeon doesn't want me doing any activity where balls fly at my nose. Well, there goes your social life. <laughs> Elton, my foot hurts. Can I go to the nurse?